This episode is brought to you by Michigan Economic Development Corporation. In Michigan, you can have both a rewarding career and a quality lifestyle with plentiful career opportunities in world-changing, innovating industries, from electric vehicles to clean energy to biotech, with room for advancement no matter where you are in your career. Plus, Michigan offers a welcoming, beautiful, affordable, and inclusive community for all. Live your best life. You can in Michigan. Visit themichiganlife.org. Okay, what's up, guys? So, welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. This episode is probably not going to be this long, but um, yeah, overall, I'm just going to cut it short. I got me a new TV, so I want to enjoy it a little bit, all right? And it's honestly quite distracting. The TV is huge. This is a 43 inch TV, and um, yeah, like the whole picture is just in my face right now, so. I'm currently, like, watching wrestling, and I just, like, man, it is huge, this TV. I'm like, dang, the TV shouldn't be this big, but no, I had to. The last one I had, freaking remote was broken, all right? I went to replace the batteries because I'm like, oh, okay, it's just probably the batteries. Nope, the whole remote was just broken, the TV. So I'm sitting here trying to, like, flip through the channels. I don't even know what button I'm pressing. I can't really see the buttons on this TV. I know this got, like, a power on button on the TV, and um the light and that's like easier to see like it's right in the middle of the like or at the bottom in the middle of the tv so you just press that button on the last tv i had i'm like i'm having to like slide my fingers across to make sure i'm like hitting the volume hitting the power buttons the source button and all of that like i'm like man this this remote i'm i'm making sure that and when the batteries go out i'm getting me some new batteries and i'm making sure i take very good care of this remote because i'd realized like after that remote had went out i had realized how important it is to have a remote like and it's crazy because like my cable remote so i think i had got this cable box sometime after and that remote it works fine like i'm like there's times i have to like hit it to like you know change the channel or something but um yeah overall like the batteries are cool like i can't even remember the last time i had replaced the batteries yeah i still got the basic uh batteries they're like called every ever ready heavy duty yeah these batteries um i ain't i freaking i get to find out where they selling these batteries at and um just buy a whole bunch of them because i'm like yo these batteries be lasting a while so and then freaking Seahawks one, I'm like, man, I'm it's a good night. I'm trying to like change the channel, acting all weird, bro. They were showing this movie earlier. Like MTV needs to chill. Oh, they're gonna show parental control afterwards. Okay, but anyways, so what I wanted to talk about was Black Friday. Now I don't know how many of you guys go Black Friday shopping, but if you were to ask me, T Moss Boss, do you go Black Friday shopping? Do you go out and get a bunch of stuff? For no reason. Fight a bunch of old women. And I'm already know I'm going to lose that fight. Because I'm like, if it's like a gang of them, I'm like, dang. Well, if I know if I run, they ain't going to be able to chase me. So, I think I I think I think got a good shot at running and stuff. But, yeah, I'm like, it's... I don't go Black Friday shopping. I have like a couple of times, maybe. But it was like, I just went and got me a video game and that was it. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm not really big into black friday shopping and stuff i'm not into all that stuff because i didn't seen way too many videos of people fighting okay pregnant women getting pushed over no that was the one video where i never forget so this lady is like pushed up against the door all right pushed up against the door and as soon as the doors had opened she just like the crowd pretty much pushes her down almost trampled her might as well have trampled her and stuff but she falls down, and the part that got to me when I was a kid was that her wig had came off, and it went rolling, and she's sitting there army crawling to it, trying to grab it, put it back on and stuff, and uh, turns out she was pregnant, and I didn't realize that until, like, after I had had, like, numerous laughs at that video and stuff, but I'm like, yo, like, y'all didn't, y'all ain't even gonna care, like, oh yeah, we just pushed down the pregnant lady to give me a couple of TVs, like, no, that, that, that's no big deal. That's that's okay. That's that's normal. I'm like, and then 
Then what? What was the other thing? It was like, I think, I don't know if that was real or fake. I seen somewhere people were saying it was fake. But um, they were trying to say that this, so, all right, so the scenario was, uh, yeah, Black Friday shopping, of course. And um, there's like these things like stacked up. I don't know what it was. I can't remember if it was like TVs or what it was. But anyways, so I guess the mom had told her kid, like, you grab one, I'm going to grab one. And so the kid grabbed one, mom had grabbed one, but then this old lady came up on the kid and snatched it out of the kid's hand. And so then the mom started tripping, going crazy on the lady. She's all like, the lady's all like, oh, help, help, I'm being attacked. And it's stuff like that where I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with any crazy people on Black Friday. Like if I were to go Black Friday shopping, I would travel all the way to Canada and go Black Friday shopping out there. Why? Because they showed this video that has stuck in my head for the longest. So Black Friday shopping over there is seriously the nicest looking thing. It, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. So you'll walk off up in there, right? Single file line, shaking hands with the store people and things but you're not acting crazy and that's what i like i'm like that's and that's when people when they ask me like am i gonna go black friday shopping i'm like i don't do so well with crowds i can see right now so i can i see i see myself getting into it with somebody i got into it with somebody in a freaking corner store in the middle of july i know i'll get into it with somebody in on black black friday I'm like, that's why I'm like, I am not, I'm not trying to fight nobody. I'm not trying, because I know there was the one year when I had gotten up. That was like, I think that was like the one major thing I did get during Black Friday was my Xbox One. And um, I'm like, I why am I doing this? Like, it ain't even, is it worth it? Like, do I really need to do this right now? And um, I was like, I was just so ready to get it and things because I'm like, I yeah, there was like games at the time was all transferring over to the Xbox One. So I was like, yeah, no games, no good games was coming out on the 360. So I'm like, dang, maybe that needs to be my Christmas present. And like that was like my last like major Christmas present. I, after that, it was just like it was just bunch of cards and stuff i'm cool with the cards and things like i'm like man i could use that freaking if it's like one of them like visa cards man, i could use those like i think i got one the year before what did i get last year i can't remember what i got last year but the year before i remember i got one of those visa cards man i was over there going to bar tells and then, yeah people was giving me bar tail cards i was going man i was just like man, y'all pretty much giving me free money like that's i'm like i'm cool with the cards but um what else? Well, it was like, and then I, yeah, I had got the Xbox Black Friday. What did I get before that? I might have got that, um, like, no. Dang, did I get Halo the year before? But overall, like, yeah, those were the two times I had went Black Friday shopping. But yeah, people were asking me to do it now, and they were just like, oh, wait, and get, um, wait for this TV or wait for this TV to go on sale or something. I'm like, I don't want to do all of that. I just want to go ahead and get the TV now. So I know people are probably be all like, well, I'm a fool for doing it, but I'm like, nope, I'm smart for doing it because Target already had these TVs on sale. They had these TVs for like a hundred dollars off. There is this, the TV that I got, so the TV that I got was like 390 something. I got the receipt right here, but it was like, the regular price was like 390 something, but I got it on sale. Then plus I, like, so yeah, that's what I did. I traded in some video games. Um, what else did I do? Freaking, I got some tip money from work. And then, uh, yeah, I used that, used like a good portion of that, or used all of that. And it was like 90 bucks. And then, yeah, I just had to really pretty much pay like 180 something for the TV. So I'm all like, dope, cool. I can accept that. But man, I was carrying this TV. I was like, bro, the TV was like, it was light. Like, I can pick it up, no problem. But carrying it, that's why I'm like, bro, y'all need to have the electronic stuff in the front of the store. But actually, you know what? No, it, I guess it makes sense because they're probably all like, oh, no, too too many people with still stuff and it'll be an easy way for them to leave. I'm like, okay, well, as soon as something goes off the shelf and they ain't pay for it, have like a major just lockdown and they ain't leaving until they get the stuff back. But 
I'm like, man, I was sitting there carrying the TV like all the way from the one end of Target. Y'all know how Target is set up, how they got the electronics in the back and then the door, like, yeah, the only exit is on the like front of the store on the other side. I'm walking, carrying that TV and things. And um, I'm like, man, then it was like, then the ride, I was like, I um, was like, yeah, getting a the ride. They driving away. I'm like, what, what's what's going on? I'm like, what's I'm like, why? Why is this happening and stuff? So I'm like, man, I'm like, that's what I see. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, if I did this Black Friday, bro, I'm like, I'm sitting there walking through crowds, trying to make sure nobody hits my TV and things. Like, that's all I was making sure of, if anything, because I'm like, bro. Somebody kicks this TV or hits this TV, I'm going off on them because I'm like, bro, this is like, don't, don't do this. Okay. Don't do this to me. I'm like, I was scared because I was like, I was getting this TV. I'm like, I ain't getting no, um, like no protection thing. I know. I think I did get the warrant or I do have like a warranty with it or it has to like register online, but I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I, um, yeah, I, the guy was like, I don't know why they be doing like, bro, just cut, like had this stuff come with it. That's why I'm all like, when they be all like, oh, yeah, get the protection. I'm like, bro, have that protection stuff come with the TV. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and pay extra amounts and stuff. I'm like, just have it where it's the, all the same price and things. But, yeah, I'm like, Dad, they, they trying to, like, scam. I'm like, bro, like, I know I'm going to take care of this TV. I'm not one of them crazy people in freaking Super Bowl videos when they get mad at their team for losing and then they end up smashing their TV and things. No, I'm not one of those people, but... Anyways, what other Black Friday videos have I seen? I remember I seen the one where it was like, it looked like the mall that's like not too far away from my house, but there's like some people got into a fist fight. Um, and then I think there was a story where this uh, old lady had snatched one of those like Xbox, um, Xbox Connect things out of the kid's hand. I'm like, right then and there, I probably jumped off of one of those like Best Buy shells and just slammed on her. I'm like, nah, you gonna give me my Xbox Connect. Like, I ain't grab... See, and that's the thing. I'm like, I don't want to be fighting with nobody. If I ain't grab something and then they try and snatch it out my hand, because people are crazy like that. And I don't do so well with stuff like that. I tend to, like, go off on people that act like that. So I'm like, bro, don't touch anything that's in my hands. If you grab for it, I'm like, okay, then just be prepared for a fight. And I'm like, I don't want to fight, though. Like, that's the thing. I'm like, I don't want to go through all of that. So that's why I'm like, I just, bro, they're like, okay, so there's this TV show called Ridiculousness, and they be showing some weirdos. This lady is full-blown eating raw meat, like raw meat, like straight out the package. And she's like... she ugh, like she's like snatching parts of it. I'm like, man, people, people weird, people weird. And she's that type of person that go Black Friday shopping and start fights with people. So that's what I'm like, I ain't with it. I'm staying far away. Like now people beating snakes. Like, dang, what episode is this? People done lost their mind in this episode. I feel like I might have seen this episode before, but I'm like, I don't even know. I ain't sh- like showed so many episodes of this show, but... I might have seen this episode because this guy, they shown the part where the guy, he's like eating some like wood that's on fire and he's just eating it like something like and it's like a branch. It's like a branch from a tree and it's on fire and he's just eating it. Teeth all black and stuff like people are crazy, man. People are seriously insane. But anyways, um yeah i was gonna yeah i was gonna um cut this episode short i would have made it longer but i'm like nah i I ain't ain't trying to be up all night and stuff so anyways i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching hopefully enjoyed this video um if you're viewing this on youtube make sure you like and subscribe and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service make sure you follow or subscribe i like how i'm like starting to end these off like my videos but i'm like i don't mean to but it's just a force of habit but uh yeah anyways um Thank you guys for watching and or listening. I will talk to you guys later. Good night and peace.